Hey guys, I'm back! It's been four months since my last video and uh, stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version of what happened, but long story short, I don't think it's been a great time this year for any of us. But I'm back and god, the world has changed since I've been gone, but I think the one thing we need at the moment is a bit of comfort food, so that's why I'm here, that's why I'm back. Let's make some beautiful baked potato casserole on the One Pot Chef. First things first, I'm going to cook up some bacon. I've got about six slices of some English style streaky bacon, which I have just chopped up into little pieces. And we're just going to slowly fry this in a fry pan. Just going to put a bit of colour onto it. We don't need to cook it all the way through because it will end up cooking completely once it goes in with the other ingredients into the oven. Now, you don't have to use streaky bacon. You can use American style crispy bacon or that thicker Canadian style bacon if you wish. If you want to go for a meat free alternative, you could use mushrooms, you could use capsicum or bell pepper, you could caramelize some onions. Basically whatever's good on a baked potato will be good on this dish because it's really just an upsized version of a baked potato and it's really really yummy. So we're just going to Cook this stirring occasionally for a few minutes until it's cooked to your liking. Once the bacon's cooked, what I want you to do is to transfer it onto a plate lined with some absorbent paper towel just to soak up any excess grease. And we're just going to set the bacon aside while we work on our other ingredients. Next we've got our potatoes, which we're going to be baking in the oven. Now I've got about two kilograms just over four pounds of potatoes, which I have washed and scrubbed so there's no dirt on them. Skin's still on. What we're gonna do is take a fork and you're gonna make some prick marks over the surface on both sides. These will create little vent holes on each potato so when the moisture inside them turns to steam while they're baking, they'll have somewhere to escape the steam. And again, you just do that on both sides. You don't have to go too deep. You don't have to go all the way through the potato, just enough to break the skin and go slightly into the surface. Next, we're going to drizzle each potato with just a little bit of olive oil and rub that olive oil all over the surface with your hands. And then we're just going to season each potato with a little bit of salt and pepper. Make sure you season both sides. And these are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 220 degrees Celsius, about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to be baking these for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the potatoes are cooked all the way through. 45 minutes later and our potatoes have baked. They're looking lovely and gorgeous. The oil on the outside has made the skin nice and crispy. Now all we're going to do is we're going to cut each of the potatoes in half, like so, lovely and baked all the way through, and cut each half in half, like so, and we're just going to chop the potatoes up into bite-sized chunks. You don't have to be too precious about this. Pardon my asbestos fingers, these are really hot. <laughs> And we're just going to do this into even pieces. It makes it easier to layer them in the dish when we make our final casserole. Now it's time to assemble our baked potato casserole. Now into a large baking dish, this is a large oven proof baking dish, I've lightly greased it with a little bit of spray on oil. To that we're going to layer in half of our chopped up potatoes. Next we're going to dollop over and spread out some sour cream. I've got a 600ml carton of sour cream. I've just used about half on this layer and we'll put the other half on in a moment. We'll sprinkle over about half of our bacon and some grated cheese. Now I'm using just some regular grated cheddar cheese today but you can use whatever cheese you prefer. And then we're just going to repeat the layers. We've got another layer of potatoes sour cream, bacon, cheese, lovely. 
Once you've got the second layer of potatoes on, it's good to give the top a bit of a squish down, just to make sure everything will be nicely compacted and fit properly. Now if you're making this ahead of time, you can cover this with cling wrap and pop it into the fridge for up to 24 hours. When you're ready to bake it, you can take it out of the fridge, remove the covering and allow it to come to room temperature on the kitchen counter for half an hour and then it's ready to bake. Meanwhile, this is ready to go into the oven right now. We're going to put it into a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, about 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the cheese on top is lovely and melted and gooey and gorgeous. While our casserole is baking in the oven, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And here we have our completed baked potato casserole fresh out of the oven. This is going to be absolutely divine. I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Yum, yum, yum. Now this is still very hot, but I'm going to risk my taste buds for the first time in four months, just for the hell of it. Mmm. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> Rich and creamy. You've got that beautiful soft baked potatoes. You've got the cheese, the sour cream, the bacon, the cheese. Oh, did I mention the cheese? Yum, yum cheese. Well, that's the basic version of it. But like any good baked potato, you can use whatever toppings you like. You can mix and match and come up with your own variations. I'd love to hear what your version is going to be in the comment section, so let me know down below this video. I'd love to see what you're going to be making. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other recipes at OnePotChefShow.com. And until next time, see you later. So the last four months has been, well, a real kick in the teeth for me, actually. I've been in total isolation at home because of certain medication that I take leaves me very, you know, compromised, which means I couldn't risk going out with the coronavirus and stuff going on and... Yeah, that didn't do a lot for my depression, the kind of social isolation and just being stuck at home all day isn't great for keeping the old mind going nicely, but I'm feeling better now and taking one day at a time, so hopefully you guys have been getting through this a lot better than I have. I'm going to be making videos if and when I feel up to it, so keep an eye on your feeds, there'll be more stuff coming soon. In the meantime, lots of love to you all, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time.